Hello, and thanks for stopping by. Today we're saying goodbye to a dear old friend of ours, that friend being NeoFetch. NeoFetch is no longer being maintained and it is archived on GitHub, meaning that you can access the code, but there just won't be any new updates. And you can still install it in the package managers, until or unless they decide they want to remove it. So today what I want to show you is an alternative to NeoFetch, because it could be possible that one day it may not be around anymore. And you may not want to run NeoFetch anyway because it's not going to be up to date anymore. Meet FastFetch. FastFetch is exactly as it implies. It fetches the system information in a very fast manner. So as you can see here, this is my FastFetch configuration. I haven't done a whole lot with it yet, but I finally managed to get the image working. Let me show you my config file. This right here is my config file. And the way that you get it is that you go into your terminal and type in FastFetch dash dash gen dash config. It will generate a file in dot config forward slash FastFetch forward slash config.json-c. And if there's one language I cannot stand, it is JSON, much less JSON-c. But hey, FastFetch is really good, so I put up with JSON. But in here, as you can see, you can put all your modules in here, and right here is where I put my logo. For me, I'm on Debian, so I use the .deb to install the file. And I'll put a link in the description where you can get a download link. Anyways, for me, I tried for several hours trying to get this image thing to work. And the only way that I could get it to work was to set the type to kitty-direct. And I'm also using the kitty terminal anyway. But I tried with kitty as a type and it wouldn't work. I tried auto and it wouldn't work. I was racking my brain trying to figure this out. But kitty-direct allows you to show the image. But you have to set the width and the height. And you're not setting it in pixels. To be honest, I don't even know how they're setting it. I had to have these weird width and height dimensions just for it to show a perfect square. Anyways, if you're looking for a new system information tool, FastFetch is what I would recommend. And if you want FastFetch to start on runup in your terminal, go to your .bashrc file, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and at the end of the file add FastFetch. Thanks to Brody Robertson for the recommendation. I found out about it through his Discord. And now we've come full circle. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I shall see you guys in the next video.